Hey everyone, Patrice is back in the kitchen and today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you another one of my great grandfather's recipes. He called it barbecue beef and I had to read everything to understand what it was. He's just talking about some good old homemade sloppy joes y'all. So that's what we're going to be cooking up in the kitchen today. So I'm going to try to get ready and enjoy this episode a pinch of soul cooking it's just called it's just basically cooking from the heart y'all that's what we're doing pinch of soul cooking is cooking from the heart so i hope you all try out this recipe let's go ahead and see what we need to go ahead and make this barbecue beef you know sloppy jokes okay so here are the ingredients you're going to need to make my great grandfather's barbecue beef okay first of all you're going to need some ground beef that's going to come later on in the equation. I have that sitting in the sink. We'll put that in when it's time, okay? We're going to also basically be making barbecue sauce. When I was reading the ingredients and the instructions on it, I was like, oh, this is his way of starting his barbecue sauce, okay? So, what we're going to need is we're going to need some sugar, okay? It's four tablespoons of sugar. You all can't see that in that picture, but this is what I'm gonna be using some sugar, okay? I'll take out how much I need out of my container here, okay? And we're gonna, he said use vinegar. I'm gonna actually change up a little bit and I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar, okay? I love the flavor that this gives off, all right? You're gonna need some ketchup, all right? I have it already measured out on here and it's basically, um, around about 16 ounces okay so it's about maybe two cups so i have it already measured out ready to go you're going to need some mustard of course some salt and pepper okay some paprika some chili powder and some worcestershire sauce am i saying that right y'all okay yeah well, that stuff this sauce this sauce worcestershire sauce <laughs> okay some people say i say it wrong i don't know that's just how i say it okay and you're gonna need an onion. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I peel my onions, okay? To help you all out for, if you haven't seen a video before, if this is your first time with me, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and get this onion cut up so that way we can get it done without crying, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then of course, some hamburger buns, okay? Because like I said, this is basically like a sloppy joe, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, what we're gonna do is add in the stuff for the sauce and get that going okay and it's gonna put them like a low simmer all right so i'm gonna go ahead and swing us around for that portion and then we'll go from there all right be right back all right so here we go we're gonna go ahead and get everything inside of this pot and we're gonna get this on a simmer all right so the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need the ketchup all right so I put all my ketchup in um, side of my measure all cup. Again, this is an item from the Pamper Chef. Okay, I love this because as you see, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press down. Ooh, and then it just comes right on out. <laughs> Luckily, I did not splatter myself. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Hold on, let me get my little spatula here because I'm gonna get all my ketchup off of here. Okay, so there you go. And I had another one. Let me get that out. So that first one was about maybe 14 ounces. And then this is the two ounces left that I needed. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay. That was a little harder for me. Hold on. Why is that one harder? Oh, okay. Just push down. And there you go. This, oh, let me tell you about this too right here. This measure all cup is amazing. As you see, it gets everything off, right? It's hardly nothing around this rim. There's nothing like inside of here, right? Let me show you the other one. You can get a good picture of that. So you see that? You see that there's really nothing really inside of there. Maybe it's a little bit, but it, is, it gets all that goodness out. This is why I love this measuring cup, okay? Now, let's go ahead and finish adding in the rest of our ingredients. Let me put that over there, okay? So, apple cider vinegar, all right? We need one tablespoon of this here okay and like i said my great grandfather he used vinegar so if that's what you have on hand by all means go ahead and use that okay so there's the one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar okay let's put that back on there all right and we're gonna need four tablespoons of sugar 
So let me put this one down and let's get our sugar out from our container. And we're gonna go ahead on and add in four tablespoons. And just so you know, I have, I want y'all to make sure y'all know that I have two of these, okay? I have two, so I'm gonna switch off and use a dry one. No, I'm not putting this inside of my sugar, okay? So there's one, there's two, there's three. That look like a lot of sugar, for granddaddy. <laughs> and that's four, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, we also need to add in the rest of these ingredients. Let me just bring all these ingredients. I don't know what I'm doing. I know I should have bought all these ingredients over here. Okay, so we need about a teaspoon of salt. Now, me, y'all know. I just use, I just I just need a little, you know, pinch of salt when I do this because my pinches end up being about a teaspoon. So I'm gonna grab this in, and there is my teaspoon of salt. Okay. Same thing with the black pepper. Okay, my fresh black pepper. I know about how many turns I need for a teaspoon. Okay, that's that right there. And we're gonna add in a fourth a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, so I'm gonna get my little measuring spoon out and use the one fourth on there and get that paprika. Now, I was gonna tell you also, for that sugar part, absolutely, if you wanna use brown sugar, go right ahead. Okay, brown sugar is also very good as, you know, to add inside of this so you don't have all that sugar content. All right, now we need a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, get my half, let's give it to a half teaspoon. Yep, that's right. Okay, so a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, get that in there. Okay, and we need a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Okay. So, get that out the wrong way. This side, get my dry one, and we're gonna push this down to a half. It's only one on there because that's wet. Okay, and just do half of that. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do with this now is we're gonna go ahead and get this onto a low simmer. We're gonna whisk these items together. Okay, so this is stuff around here. And of course, in somewhere in between this, once this gets started mixing together, I'm gonna go in and taste this just to see if I need to add, you know, anything else. Because, you know, things change, times have changed, and especially mess around with these, you know, different ingredients, something may have changed, you know, with the preservatives and things like that. You never know, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and it. Got that going. Whisk. All right. And now we're going to go to the other side and chop up our onion. I'm going to put this on a low so we can get a nice simmer going. Okay. So let's go to the other side. All right. So let's go ahead and cut up this onion. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. I'm using a bowl today for my trash. <laughs> Uh, running out of those little bags. I'm gonna have to go back to the store and grab some more of those. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut our onion half like this. Okay. Okay. The girl got a little weak in the kitchen. I'm about to go out there and uh, get to exercise some more. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and wipe this off real quick. And the point of this is to show you how to do this, so you can kind of do it fast and get that onion cut up and out the way so you're not crying so much inside of the kitchen, okay? So, go ahead and clean that off right there. So what you wanna do is you wanna, this side, you wanna leave this part on. The little part right there, leave that on because that's what's gonna help us guide and control everything, okay? So let's go ahead and do both of these at the same time. Get these pieces cut off, this is the end, okay? And you want to go ahead and peel it. Now, you guys want to try to do this as fast as possible. Let's get that piece out of there. Try to do this as fast as you possibly can, okay? That's the other part. All right. 
Now I like to look like I'm moving right now. I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> okay, so we got that piece off. Okay, same thing with this one. Go ahead and ooh, cha. Okay, there we go. Get this off of there. And I want to say I want to hope you all are having a fantastic day. I know I didn't say that at the beginning, but I really do hope you're having one. I'm having a great day. Just relaxing, chilling. Yes, indeedy. Why am I having a hard time today with this? Y'all ain't never seen me struggle with no onion like this before. I don't know what's going on. Okay, you want to pull this little middle piece out from me, from mine. Okay, so what you want to do? You want to hold this down. You want to slide this knife. Go up just a little ways up, about maybe a half an inch. Take your knife. Go inside three-fourths of the way. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. I went up a little bit more three-fourths of the way one more time for me depending on how big your onion is that's what you're going to do three-fourths of the way you're going to turn that onion around and you're going to do the same thing over here so you're going to go in slice that way three-fourths of the way go down okay hold on to it as much as you can some pieces might come out and that is okay okay just go in like that like that same thing watch your fingers then you're going to turn it and go ahead and just chop down okay when you do this you now have basically already diced your onions okay so you don't have to worry about all doing it you know all those other ways boom it's done okay move that to the side and we're gonna do the same thing with this one so again hand down there go in about three-fourths of the way same thing again, three fourths of the way. Come up a little bit more, three fourths of the way. Go this way. Cut down, three fourths. You can kind of almost go back to the, what's that thing called right there? But don't slice through it. Okay? Go that way. Oops, see, I'm losing a piece out there. That's okay though. And then go down this way. This way. And now you have diced. Onions. Now me sometimes depending on the onion like this to me, I want all that. So I'll just go over here and just do a rough little chop, you know, just to get all my onion. Okay. Like this. My board is sliding because I want to keep my other little board nice and cute. And there you go. Slide chopped onion. I mean diced onion. So there you go. Chopped up. <laughs> okay. So yep. That's how I'm going to Now I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the other side and get this sauteed all up. Let's go. Okay. So here I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. About maybe, uh-oh, that's popping over here. My sauce is starting to pop. I hear, did y'all hear it? <laughs> you get that little stir, a little whisk. Okay. All right, a little whisk it in because it's probably I gotta taste it a little bit here. So yeah, just add in a little bit of olive oil. And let that get hot real quick. Okay, I'm gonna slide y'all over here real quick so y'all can see. So yep, it's looking fabulous. Okay, it was just popping a little bit ago, so I turned it down again to low. So you can go ahead and uh, finish cooking. Let's let's taste this. Let's give, it a, give it a little taste. Drop a little bit on my thing right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's tasting pretty good, y'all. I'm going to let that finish off. All right. Let's go back over here. Okay. So. Let's get in. Nice and hot. We're going to go ahead and add our onions in. Okay. Oh, yes. Scissor, baby. Scissor. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay. So, that's going to sizzle up. Let's get us another little spoon here. Let's grab this one. 
Okay, and we're gonna let this saute a little while. Okay, we want this to get the onions to get kind of translucent, and then we're gonna add our ground beef right in here. Okay, with this. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook down for maybe about from the looks of it, about maybe three to four minutes. Okay, and then we'll be right back. Y'all, I forgot to add mustard in this. Oh my lord, I'm thinking looking at it and I was like, and I feel some of my ingredients, so I started putting stuff up. And I realized, oh, I didn't add this mustard. So let me go ahead and add that in there. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let me add that on in there. Give that a nice little around about oh yeah because you know mustard does give it another level of flavor oh yes indeed y'all know because i clean as i go so i'm gonna stop putting stuff up yes indeed all right so now we got some mustard in there and we're gonna go ahead and look over here at our onions because we're about to go ahead and add in our ground beef so let me take you over here Okay, to our onions. Oh yes, that's almost to where I want it to be. We don't want these onions to burn, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our ground beef. Okay. okay. Okay, so there's the ground beef. Add that all in there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. <laughs> okay, I'm back here, everybody. So, sorry about that. I had to wash my hands. And I said I had to edit that part out. Basically, the camera was just sitting here looking at the meat while I was washing my hands. And I'm sure you got to want to just look at that. So, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and we'll just mix this up. This is my mixing chop. Y'all know I love my mixing chop. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and season up because you know you got to season up every step of the way. So, I'm going to season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper and stir this sauce over here because it is popping a little bit. Stir it up. Okay. Stir that up. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt to the ground beef. Okay, and I'll put in a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and let this brown up. Okay, and let me see. Let me just mix in these onions with this. Let's get those onions in there, incorporated. Okay, and we're gonna go check on. Let's go check on our sauce. Okay, our sauce is looking amazing. All right, let me get a spoon so I can taste this. See what we got going on here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is some good stuff. Oh yes, let's see, one more. Mm-hmm, oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Mm-hmm, but I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit more 
chili powder. Just because I just like a little bit more. Just a little bit more spice to it. Just a little bit. Okay. That's it. That's all. Okay. And you can taste that tanginess from the apple cider vinegar. I can taste the little mustard we added in. And I'm going to add in just a few more drops of this Worcestershire sauce. Just a little bit. That's it. That's all. Okay. Stir that up. I said you got to go in and taste everything, okay? You got to go in and taste everything. And it's okay if you doctor, you know, do some other things, to, you know, recipes. That's how you also make it your own. And I told you about it. I'm making this cookbook. This is one of the recipes that's going to be in a cookbook. Okay, this is in honor of my great grandfather. And the thing about it is, I'm doing this. I said I was going to modernize some of the recipes. Some of the recipes I looked at, and I was like, Granddaddy, what was this? <laughs> but you got to also remember those back in the days, you know, they didn't have what we have now as well. So, we're going to do some things a little bit different. Okay. Now, one more taste. One more taste. Okay, just one more taste. Drop it on the spoon like that. One more taste. Oh. Mmm. 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 Very good. We're going to turn this off. I'm going to have my mama. She just walked in. I'm going to have her taste this sauce. Hey, mama. Taste the sauce for me. Tell me if you think it needs anything else. Let's put it with your finger. And taste it, don't you? You can taste the tanginess. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right, so our meat is over here looking well. So we're gonna go ahead and let that finish browning up and then we'll be back. All right, we are back, and our lovely ground beef is done. I went on ahead and I drained it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add in our sauce, okay? So let's go ahead and add that on in there. I'm going to get a, a different spatula because I'm going to get all of this goodness out of here. Let me get another spatula. I love my pamper shell spatulas. They get everything out. Okay. So let's get in there. Get all that out of there. Hold on, y'all. Let me hold that a different way. All right. Are y'all able to see me doing this? Let me look into this camera and see if y'all can see this. I can't see what y'all can see. Okay, oh yeah, y'all can see it. Okay, so I'm just getting all of this goodness out of this here pot and getting it in there. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and give this a good stir, get this mixed in. Okay. Now the recipe that he gave is supposed to cover um, about a pound and a half. Well, he said it can cover up to two pounds of meat. Okay, this is um, one and a half pounds of meat, approximately. Okay, so, and it looks delicious already. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit in here and simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a little taste test, okay? And I don't know about in your household, but in my household, we have sloppy joes. We have sloppy joes with either uh, fries, uh, some kind of potato, like a potato chip too, okay? <laughs> so I'm sure my son would be happy to know that he can eat this with some potato chips, <laughs> okay? It's all right to have a little chip with your food, right? All right, so we're going to sit here and we're going to let this simmer so all those flavors can get really good into this meat. 
Okay, we're gonna cover this, put it on low for 15 minutes. I'll come back in and stir in the middle just to make sure that it's good to go. And then we'll be back again, cover this up, okay? All right, we'll be right back. All right, so this is what it's looking like right now. And it's actually done, okay? So it's simmered for 15 minutes. I stirred it once in the half in between mark. So now we're gonna go ahead on and make us a nice little plate. Oh man. How my goddaughter was saying, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and make us a plate. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and put together our plate. This there. So, get this bun out. My mom, she likes her toasted. She just told me that. So, she's going to probably toast her bun up. But, all right, so there's my bun. My, let me also explain to y'all another thing real quick. So, when I said that that's basically all the ingredients in the pot to make up a barbecue sauce. No, that's like the basic thing because you would add in some brown sugar, some honey, and then you start going from there, start doctoring up how you like your barbecue sauce. And I'm quite sure I'll do another video with some barbecue sauce on there. I can't show y'all all my secrets, but I'll, I'll, I'll share a few with y'all. <laughs> Cause barbecue sauce is a technique and it takes some people years to master their own secret sauces and of course everybody does their barbecue sauce different depending on which coast you're from what state you're from what city you're from you know whatever it's all a little bit different you know there's a dry dry based one there's a mustard based one there's a ketchup based one there's so many different kinds of barbecue sauce okay so let's go ahead on and put this up here oh yeah Ooh, baby oh that's hot we're gonna have to blow this off before we uh <laughs> take a bite out of this. Ooh -wee. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Put on the bun on top of it like so. Okay, everybody has either on different kind of chips. I'm gonna be using this for some of this um kettle cook mesquite barbecue. Okay. Everybody has their own kind of chips they like to eat as well. So if you do like plain, you got the flaming hot, people got to put popcorn. You know, different stuff. Oops, I dropped the chip. I'm gonna make sure I get that. Oh, it didn't fall apart. Thank God, because I thought I was gonna put on the floor. Alright, so that is our lovely plate of food. Right? You know, see. If it's blurry, please if it's not blurry. Let's check. That is getting blurry. That that's amazing. So y'all see my little my little plate. This is how we like to do it in the psych sauce. You know, you could do French fries, you know, or some kind of potato. We're doing potato chips tonight. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna pause this just so I can take my pictures. You guys don't like to take my pictures so I can post them all over social media. <laughs> and then we'll be back to taste it. Plus it'll get some time for it to cool down. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead. I took my pictures. We're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and taste this right now. Okay. So what side should I get? Which side should I get? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Granddaddy, you are such a genius. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so good. Mmm, 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 good, good stuff, oh my god, mmm, oh she's so good, mmm, 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 okay y'all, if you want a really easy recipe that's full of flavor, and that is so quick 
I'm gonna want you to try this, okay? I want you to try this, all right? So, if you enjoyed this, this recipe, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up, okay? Leave us a comment. Let us know how you enjoyed this, how much you had fun making it, because I had fun making this, okay? Let me know. Share this out with your family and friends, all right? And make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe and click that bell, that notification bell, so you can be notified every time we upload an amazing recipe for you to try, okay? I want to thank you so much. This has been amazing, fun. Thank you again. I hope to see you in the next video, okay? So until then, I want you all to have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Have a blessed one. And we'll see you again later. Bye.